We're flying north of Sydney. Uh, can you guess where this island is? That's where we're going to go diving. Hey, it's Glenn McClelland, and we're on Lord Howe Island. We finally got here after a day's delay because the plane uh, couldn't get in because of this really strong winds and it's still pretty windy. It's whipped up the ocean, as you can see. Uh, but uh, the dive team reckon we can go for a quick dive. So let's see. Here's the underwater photographers. They sort of bounced around the waves. There's some of the pro dive helpers. Some nice scenery. So the first dive was 40 meters and it was pretty rough. And I managed to get myself uh, seasick, which wasn't fun at 40 meters. We're still um, pretty turbulent down the bottom. Here I am not even filming, I left the camera on. Crazy shot of the uh, people swimming. So we didn't see too much on this dive and I took my underwater torch which I kept turning on and off. Watching the sea floor to help me feel better, try and get my uh, sea legs back. There's the instructor giving me okay. Some people taking some photographs. That was that dive. Always decompress if you've gone deep. Ah, here's uh, the lagoon. We were hoping it'd be a lot calmer. Okay, I'm going to try and identify some of the fish we saw. It's a very shallow dive, so uh, you could have snorkeled this, um, but you just wouldn't have been able to stay down as long. You see that starfish whiz past? The anemone fish. And that's all natural. Cool hair. I'll call it a hairdo. <laughs> and there's the baby anemone fish. Here we are whipping along on, in the current. 
Not very good with the camera. This is my first time with the underwater camera. I'm learning. Plenty of uh, the damselfish. Butterfly fish and an enemy fish everywhere. Here's a whole school of the three banded butterfly fish. They're really quite pretty. And my buddy. Calling that brain coral. Pretty coloured wee. Not sure what I'm feeling in here. Ah, uh, the coral gets broken off in the storms. Now here's a school of three spot grass. There's the black saddle Toby. I actually quite like the uh, the sand. I don't know the names of all these coral, but somebody might. Ah, oh, the green moon rats, that's probably a juvenile. And there's a multi-spine damselfish. Here's my second speckled sand perch. There's a few varieties of this. Try to identify them. Branching staghorn. Growing staghorn, which is nice to see. The fish kept hiding in the staghorn branches, so it was quite hard to see them. Pacific bird wrasse, that was great looking fish with a bird shaped beak. Butterfly fish. There's a humbug. a cleaner fish, not to be confused with the false cleaner fish. And the Norfolk Cardinal fish, there's two of them there. Cleaner fish is doing his crazy dance. That's the ones you see actually cleaning other fish, but he wasn't cleaning today. As a gigantic broken off bit of coral, Black and lucent wrasse, blue spot butterfly fish. There's quite a few. Not sure who this fish is, what he is, but um, he's there. That's a great little ball coral. And another Toby. And they're poisonous. So we're out for the second dive of the day. 
So that was uh, quite a good second dive. We saw at least 15 different species of fish that I could identify and there was probably three or four others that I couldn't. 